The London Midland and Scottish Railway, or LMS, was formed on the 1st of January 1923 as a result of the Railways Act 1921, which grouped over 300 separate railway companies into just four, nicknamed the Big Four. The LMS claimed to be the largest transport organisation in the world. Whatever the truth, the company was certainly the largest of the Big Four railway companies and was the only one to operate in all parts of the British Isles England, Ireland, Scotland and Wales. For many years after its formation the LMS operated numerous locomotives which it inherited from its constituent companies namely the Midland Railway and the London and North Western Railway. With the previous service steaming away to Keithley we have a few moments before the first of the classic LMS steam locomotives arrives at the most famous station on the Keithley and Worth Valley Railway, Oakworth. And the distant sound tells us that the next service is approaching. This is one of the 422 strong 3F-3 class, more commonly known by their nickname Jinty. The 3F-3s were 060 tank engines, originally designed in 1924 by Henry Fowler, the chief mechanical engineer of the Midland Railway. The design was based on the rebuilds by Fowler of the Midland Railway 2441 class, introduced in 1899. These rebuilds featured a bell pair firebox and improved cab. The Jinties were built between 1924 and 1930 and were the only design from the Midland Railway to be carried on in production by the London Midland and Scottish Railway after the grouping of the railways.
They were built by the private firms Bagnalls, Beardsmoors, Hunslet, North British and the Vulcan Foundry, with the last 15 being built by the LMS's own works at Horwich, near Bolton, which was formerly the Lancashire and Yorkshire Railways works. Jinties were used as a shunting, local goods and passenger engine. Locos similar to this operated regularly on the Worth Valley branch in the 1930s. And this example returned to traffic on the Keithley and Worth Valley Railway in 1988. Another example of classes inherited from the previous railway companies is this, 49395, a former London and North Western Railway G2 class of locomotive. The G2 class are a class of 808 steam locomotives, designed for heavy freight work. They were known to railway enthusiasts as Super Ds and were superheated for extra power. The type started in production in 18179, but 49395 was included in the batch built in 1921 to 1922. The class passed into LMS and British Railways ownership and the remaining members were finally withdrawn in December 1964. 49395 is the only surviving example of her class and is part of the National Collection looked after by the National Railway Museum. The LMS became famous for their prestigious express passenger locomotives, like the Princess Coronation class loco 6233, Duchess of Sunderland, seen here at her birthplace at Crewe Works, along with one of the two remaining members of the mighty Princess Royal class, 6201, Princess Elizabeth, built in 1933, again at Crewe. A much older class of LMS locomotive is the 7F. In fact, the 7Fs didn't start off being LMS locos, as their design predated the grouping of the railways into the big four railway companies in 1923. They were designed by the Midland Railway, 
who was in charge of the locomotive policy on the Somerset and Dorset Joint Railway, which they owned with the London and South Western Railway. Two batches of locomotives were built specifically for the Somerset and Dorset. The first was in 1914 and the second was completed in 1925, of which 53809 was one. The Somerset and Dorset Railway was highly graded and required power over and above what was available from the Midlands small engines. M.H. Ryan, the Somerset and Dorset Railway's locomotive superintendent, argued for a type specific to the line. After the first batch were built, the second batch were redesigned and were built by Robert Stevenson & Co Limited at a cost of £6,570 each. They had larger boilers than the first, using the new G9BS type, and were slightly shorter, but two ton heavier, giving a greater factor of adhesion. The tender was a Fowler standard design, and shorter than the Dealey pattern carried by the earlier batch. These new engines were driven from the left, and a wet sanding system was fitted. Despite the new boiler, the second batch of locomotives gradually acquired the older G9AS type found on the original first batch of Somerset and Dorset locos as time progressed. These older G9AS boilers were originally from the Midland Railway's compound class of locomotives. The Somerset and Dorset Railway locomotives were taken into LMS stock in 1928 and renumbered 9670 to 9680 in 1930 and again to 13800 to 13810 in 1932. On nationalisation in 1948, British Railways added 40,000 to their numbers, making them 53,800 to 53,810. Withdrawal of the 1914 built locomotives occurred between 1959 and 1962, and the 1925 built engines between 1963 and 1964. Thank you. 
Two of the second batch of locos survive in preservation. 53089 is based at the Midland Railway Centre at Butterley, but is seen here on the North Yorkshire Moors Railway at Pickering. The other preserved example is 88 and is based at the West Somerset Railway. Five three eight zero nine is today doing a great job on the North Yorkshire Moors Railway. Perhaps not as majestic as the Duchess's. These were the workhorses of the LMS, the Black Five. <laughs> More accurately known by their official LMS class designation 5P5F or their British Railways class 5MT, the Black Fives were designed by William Stanier. 45212 was built in November 1935 by the builders Armstrong Whitworth. The Black Fives were first introduced in 1934 and a grand total of 842 were built up to 1951. 
The construction of the class was shared between the LMS's own works at Crewe, Derby and Horwich, and the private concerns of Armstrong Whitworth and the Vulcan foundry at Newton the Willows in Merseyside. The Black Fives were a 460 design, meaning that the wheel arrangement has a two axle leading truck, followed by three driving axles. This wheel arrangement became the second most popular configuration for new steam locomotives in America in the mid 19th century, where this type is commonly called a 10 wheeler. The locomotive was build number. 1253 of Armstrong Whitworth's Scotswood Works. The Black Fives were a mixed traffic locomotive, equally at home on freight or passenger workings. They were designed by the LMS's chief mechanical engineer, William, later Sir William, Stanier. Stanier started his railway career as a draftsman on the Great Western Railway, before becoming Inspector of Materials in 1900. He rose through the ranks of the GWR, before leaving to become the chief mechanical engineer of the London, Midland and Scottish Railway on January the 1st. 1932. The LMS needed their own version of the GWR's successful Hall class, and Stanier designed the Black Fives with a similar cylinder arrangement, internal boiler design and size, and the same six foot diameter driving wheels. The similarity to the GWR design started in one of Stanier's first designs for the LMS, the Mogul, in which he experimented with the GWR's thinking on locomotive design. However, in the Moguls, he realised that several GWR ways weren't the best, and learnt from them for future designs. The locomotives were numbered by the LMS from 5,000, with the first 20 being ordered from Crew Works, and a further 80 from the Vulcan foundry. The first to be completed was the first Vulcan example, numbered 5020, in 1934. The first crew built engine didn't emerge until a year later. 54212 is today at the Keithley and Worth Valley Railway's northern terminus of Keithley. A station with shared platforms. One and two are the normal national rail platforms, and three and four belong to the Keithley and Worth Valley Railway. With the W signifying coaching stock of the western region of British Railways, 45212 is seen later double heading halting at Oakworth station, before heading on her way to Oxenhope, just as the rain starts. The locomotive is operating on the railway's 40th anniversary weekend, celebrating 40 years since the reopening of the line as a preserved railway.
45212 was one of 227 ordered from Armstrong Whitworth in 1936. An order which was the largest single locomotive order ever given by a British railway to an outside contractor. Also present at the 40th anniversary weekend was 45407. 45407 was also built by Armstrong Whitworth, but two years later than 45212, in 1937. She's hauling a special, departing from the National Rail platforms of Keithland. travelling up the famous Settle Carlisle Railway. 45407 is based on the East Lancashire Railway, as is 45231, seen here at speed, hauling the Cathedral's Express rail tour. The two locos also share the fact that they were given names after they were withdrawn from British Railways and preserved. 45231 is named the Sherwood Forester. A similar name was actually carried on LMS Royal Scott class loco number 6112. Sherwood Forester. Only four members of the Black Five class received names whilst in LMS or British Railway service. And all of them were named after Scottish regiments. However, none of these four named examples were preserved. In addition, there is some evidence to suggest that 5155 carried the name Queen's Edinburgh during the Second World War. Although no one has managed to confirm this. Back to 45212, and this time she is arriving at one of the North Yorkshire Moors Railway's most famous stations, Gothland, known to millions who watch the television programme Heartbeat as Aidensfield. Gothland is one of the railway's two passing stations, so the driver hands over a token to the signalman, ready for him to pass it on to the train going in the other direction.
a total of 18 Black Fives have been preserved, out of the original 842. The Black Five design was very successful, and is generally described as the most successful mixed traffic type in Great Britain. When British Railways ceased production of the various locomotive designs it continued from the original four railway companies, which included the Black Five, a need developed for a new set of standard locomotives to be built across the country's many locomotive works. So, from 1951, British Railways started to build steam locomotives to its own designs, developed by R.A. Riddles. These BR standards were largely based on LMS practice, but incorporated ideas and modifications from the other constituent companies, and from the best practice in America. Characteristic features were tapered boilers, high running plates, two cylinders and streamlined cabs. The LMS Black 5 design was modified to become the British Railway Standard Class 5MT 460. 172 of these Class 5MTs were built at both Derby and Doncaster Works between April 1951 and June 1957 and five are preserved. Here, 45212 is arriving at Gromont, the North Yorkshire Moors Railway's northern terminus. and departing again, light engine, to return to the engine shed.
Next, we have the 260 wheel configuration of the London, Midland and Scottish Railways 5F class. Although the LMS had successful express passenger locomotives, the railway's freight traction was initially poor. The early adoption of the Midland Railway's small engine policy had left the LMS with trains double-headed by underpowered small 060 locomotives, supplemented by inadequate Garrett's and Fowler 7F080s. The 5F class were designed to help this problem of power and were the first design of the newly appointed Chief Mechanical Engineer to the London, Midland and Scottish Railway, William Stanier.
The class were mainly a mixed traffic engine, at home on either fast fitted freight traffic, local passenger and excursion work. This example, 42968, is the only one of the class of 40 engines to be preserved and is based at the Seven Valley Railway. The engines served the LMS and British Railways faithfully for 30 years, the first withdrawal being 42977 on the 20th of July 1963 and the last being 42954 on the 11th of February 1967. Four two nine six eight was the penultimate member, lasting until the thirty first of december nineteen sixty six. After the withdrawal of steam locomotives, the West Coast main line out of the London terminus of Euston was the domain of the electric locomotives. Such as this one, a class 87. The 87s were built between 1973 and 1975 and the whole class of 36 locomotives hauled the express passenger services over the West Coast Main Line.
until the arrival of Virgin Trains' brand new Pendolino tilting electric trains in 2001. These high-speed electric units are a fitting successor to the express passenger locomotives of the LMS.